two places. We've gone to the stockyard and we're here at Phil Backett's farm this afternoon. We're looking at grass-fed versus grain-fed beef. The first place was the grain-fed, the stockyard, where they saw the calves that were going to be sold and shipped out to places like Iowa and Kansas to be finished. They would probably be ready uh, September, October. And now we're here on uh, Phil Baggett's grass-fed farm where they actually finish cows. And that means they raise them all the way up to they slaughter them and then they come to your table. And we're here looking at that side of the beef industry. It's a passion of ours um, that we install some kind of agricultural knowledge into the youth. So we really like to have the children up here and all the kids, any age group, um, just to teach them a little bit about farming because it's so, yeah, they see them driving up and down the roads, the cows, but they don't know what actually goes into the cattle market or the grain market. We did our externship in this as the teachers and we found it was very interesting and we thought it was something we could share with our students and we have such resources here from the stockyard and from Phil Baggett's so that we can bring them here and let them see firsthand the real world, not out of a book, you know, not out of even a newspaper, even, even out of the internet, but actually see it, smell the smells, see the sights of all the things going on with cattle. I like wearing like this because you get to go out and experience hands-on what you're doing and what you're learning about. Because if you're in a classroom, you're just kind of learning with words and not actually seeing what's happening around you. It's coming out and just the hands-on, seeing how the businesses work, seeing how much goes into it. I mean, somebody could stand there and explain it to you, but till you see how, like, on this farm, how big it is, we walk down the road, just seeing all the machinery that goes in, that's involved in it and just the people and how much manpower it really takes to do something and run a business. I hope it enters their world. Okay, of where their food comes from, the costs involved in it, the production, that people's lives are invested in this, and the challenges for the future. We mentioned a lot about the year 2050 and the number of people that will be on the earth and how do we feed them. All those are things that directly will relate to them. And it, it's hard at this age to get them to understand that unless they see it and then get a light. And hopefully a few of them will want to go into this, this side of business and finance.